Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. So we are at the outlet mall. Got to do a little bit of school shopping because uh, school starts next week. Can y'all believe it already? Um, so yeah, we just got here. Let me show y'all the kids. Oh. One time I fell off the chair. So Chloe's, uh, there's all these little seashells that Chloe likes to pick through here. And I'm just waiting here a couple minutes, getting ready to go pick up our order from Starbucks over there. Um, but I figured I would start vlogging because why not? So pretty out here. go to um I think she prefers a high top uh, I think she likes the high Hey y'all, it's still Thursday. I'm back home. It's much later in the day, but I wanted to show y'all what I picked up from the outlet mall. Let me take these glasses off because I know they cause a reflection. Anyway, uh, I really went out there to get them some shoes. Um, I needed them for their shoes. I can do their clothes on my own. <laughs> so I really wanted to get some shoes um, and that's what we ended up getting. So let's see actually got just from converse we went in nike i didn't really see anything that i like for either one of them and nikes don't really do well on noah's feet i feel like his feet are too wide for nikes um but chloe loves her converse so i knew we were going in there um, and i got her another pair of converse so this time she got these with the little rainbows on them they're super cute in her previous converse she wanted to wear every single day like literally every single day is the only shoe she wanted to wear so i just went ahead and got her some more of these i wanted to pick her up another pair of shoes but i couldn't find any others um, that i liked for her in her size like at other places and then for noah i picked him up these which Honestly, he's had these shoes before, but in a different color. These are also Converse, but I really like these because he doesn't have to worry about tying them. He doesn't know how to tie his shoes yet. Not really a big deal because we usually just tie them for him in the morning and he doesn't take them off. Um, but I do like that he can do these by himself. So got him these. And then the second pair of shoes we got for him were these, which he really, really liked. <laughs> And these are so fun. They're a black Converse and they have like all these little bugs and worms on them. So he really liked these. These were the first ones that I saw and they were actually on clearance. I think these were like $28 after, um, after the clearance. So that was cool. So he got his two pairs of shoes and I want to get Chloe another pair of shoes. And that's usually good for the school year. He has a couple, he has like another pair of shoes that he can wear that are little bit like for nicer occasions like church or something um but these will just be like school shoes also went a gap i didn't find that much in there but i did get them a couple shirts so i found him this shirt which is a mario shirt he likes mario he likes the super mario brothers movie if y'all haven't seen that movie you should see it <laughs> it was actually very entertaining we went to the movies to see it as a family and everybody enjoyed it including me i mean i grew up on mario i was a mario kart lover and I think as of today, I saw something that is coming to Peacock. So I don't know if it's already on Peacock or if it will be this week. But anyway, if you haven't seen that movie and you get a chance to see it, <laughs> especially if you're in my age range. Um, so I got him this shirt. And then what else? Oh, I found this shirt for Chloe. It really didn't have much that I liked in her size. Like they already got fall stuff out and y'all know it's hot here. I'm not buying no hoodies or nothing yet. <laughs> We're going to be in shorts for at least another, what month is this? 
this is August, so we're gonna be in shorts probably at least another three months. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I also bought myself this dress. They had this up on a mannequin in a different color and I really liked the way it looked. It's just a uh, dress, a tank dress, but it's kind of like a lightweight knit and it is a midi length. I did not try this on because I didn't feel like it, but I will try it on tonight. Probably not for y'all, but I'll try it on tonight. And if I like it, I'm gonna go back and get the other color too. But I figured black would be the safe choice because it probably won't show my cellulite. So yeah, that's what we have for today. Um, I will check with y'all another day on this vlog. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup. I'm going to try to film at least one video today. Hopefully I can get more done, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup now. And I'm trying out some new makeup, so I figured I would turn the camera on. And y'all can try out some new makeup with me, like old school Simply Aisha or Simple Beauty Blog video, if y'all have been around that long. So let me go wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. So I was actually sent a uh, foundation from Makeup Forever and they also sent me this sponge. So I'm gonna try out this sponge. It's a little bit different because it has kind of like this silicone feel to it. I don't know if it's showing up well on camera, but it's definitely different. So I'm gonna try this out. They also sent me their HD Skin Foundation, which I have not tried this version. I think this has been out for probably at least a year. But I haven't tried it. I did try the older version that they had and really liked it, but that's been years ago. So I'm gonna shake this up. They sent me three Y56. I'm sharing this on this video, but this is not required. I just wanted to try it out and I was vlogging. So I figured why not share it with y'all, but I don't have to share it. This is actually, this is actually sent to me to review like online like a uh, text review so hopefully this shade matches it says to just apply it onto this part and then <clears throat> do your concealer on the other part so i didn't apply any primer i do have i have already moisturized and everything um, but i did not apply primer because i don't know how this is going to work on me and i don't always use primer okay so first off this sponge i don't know about it y'all <laughs> It feels like if y'all have been like on the like YouTube beauty or Instagram beauty for a while. I don't know if y'all remember these little um, like silicone sponges. I might still have one. Uh, yeah, I do still have one. Uh, it's all wrapped up. But these little silicone sponges that they used to have, they're not really a sponge. It's just like a... A 
silicone pad. Like it reminds you of like a a silicone bra or something. <laughs> But that used to be a thing where well, people would use that to blend out their foundation. And that's kind of what this reminds me of, but not as slippery. I actually like those things though. Um, I used to use them quite often. They're very easy to clean. All right, so I think the color matches me well. It's okay, Nate. This is just a vlog. You can close the door though. Thank you. So I think the color matches well, so that's good. I was a little bit worried. <laughs> but yeah, the color matches me well. <clears throat> I like it, I like the finish. It kind of looks more skin-like. And um, I actually like this, even though it's kind of weird at first, cause kind of expecting more of a regular beauty sponge. But I actually really like this. This kind of gives me more of a fingertip type finish. Um, so like a light medium coverage as opposed to a fuller coverage, but I like it. So I do like the formula of this too so far. It was very liquidy, which I thought the older formula used to be um, a lot thicker. Not a lot thicker, but thicker. So I'm excited to keep playing around with this. I like the finish of it. It looks good on my skin. I'm sure you could probably build it up, but I'm not going to. They also sent me their new concealer. So these are brand new. They sent me two shades, 3.4N and 3.5Y. So let's open them. I'll swatch, but ooh, this looks way too light. Oh, they both look way too light, y'all. I think I picked the wrong colors or they sent me the wrong color. I don't know. So I'm gonna swatch them real quick, but I don't think either one of these are gonna work. So this one is 3.5Y that I'm swatching first. Oh yeah, that's too light. I might be able to make that work underneath my eye, but this one is 3.4N and that is definitely way too light. So that's the 3.4N and this is 3.5Y. I'm gonna try a little bit of the 3.5Y underneath my eye because it's kind of looking like it's darkening up so it might be okay i know it looks really light but we'll try and if i need to add a darker concealer i will so let's see i'm not going to do that much of it i'm just going to apply a little bit because i feel like this is too light so i'm just going to apply a little bit and then if i need to add a darker concealer i'll do that Oh yeah, that's way too light, y'all. Way too light. I may see if I can contact them and get a darker shade, but this is way too light. So let me see. I'm gonna add on it this Pat McGrath um, concealer. This is in the shade M19 and it's a little dark. So I usually will use this to darken up any concealer that's too light. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. All right, so that works. I got this pimple here that like is killing my vibe. It popped up this morning. I think I might do a little concealer on that, just a sec. So I'm not usually a concealer on the face type of person, um, but this pimple, I feel like it's just so bright. So I did just recently order this. This is from NARS. This is a soft matte complete concealer. I used to use this years ago when it first came out and uh, I made an order from NARS. So I decided to try this again. I'm just gonna do like a little dab. Yeah, that helped. This is in the shade Caramel, by the way. That definitely helped. Makes it a lot less notice noticeable. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna use my Amy Cole powder to set underneath my eyes. I'm just taking the excess that's on the sponge and just going around my T-zone. I don't always set my face. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but today I'm just using the excess that was on my thing. I didn't add any extra powder. So. 
some reason I don't see my regular brow pencil, so I'm just gonna use this one from, what is this, L'Oreal, I think. It's all faded out, but I'm gonna use this. I don't feel like doing eyeshadow today, but I am going to pop a little bit of this into my crease. This is Camel by Bobbi Brown. And it's just this like skin tone shade that has a kind of yellowish undertone. And with this shade, I kind of just slap it on y'all. <laughs> Bronzer, I'm using my tried and true Fenty bronzer. I will list the shade down below. It's, I, I don't wanna say it wrong. I've said it right so many times, but I feel like every time I turn the camera on, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but it's like Bejan Gal. <laughs> oh gosh. Y'all been following me a while. Y'all know I say it wrong all the time. And I swear I can see it right when the camera's not on. So. For blush today, I'm going with another tried and true. This is Taj Mahal from NARS. This mascara is by Give the Gwen, the Gwen Stefani brand. I really like this. Stops, can't stop staring mascara is what it's called. And for my lips today, I was gonna do a bright lipstick, but I don't feel like doing all right, y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this Makeup by Mario. This is the plumping lip product, plumping lip color in hot pink. And this is kind of like a um, more opaque lip gloss. So it's like a, a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss, but it's shiny. And it doesn't sting like traditional pumping glosses, but I do feel like my lips look nice and juicy when I wear it. Not that my lips look bigger, but I feel like my lines are, are more um, smoothed out, my wrinkles and my natural wrinkles in my lips. So there's that. And this is Le Look. I'm gonna go put on my jewelry and um, my hair or take my scarf off and I'll show y'all real quick the finished product and then I need to film my video so just a sec all right this so this is the finished look I do really like the foundation I think it looks nice and natural and it gives pretty good coverage without looking too heavy or cakey uh, I wish I could have really tried out that concealer though so I am going to contact them and see if I can get a different shade but I really like the way the look came out looks like me so let me get to filming my video i am done filming i think i'm done at least i was able to film one video and kind of a half a video so um i'm feeling pretty good about that i got a lot of stuff to do the kids start school this week so i've been really busy so i'm okay with that um so i just finished and changed my clothes i'm getting ready to eat lunch so i figured i would show y'all what i'm eating like all the other vloggers do <laughs> just a sec shrimp fried rice this is homemade my husband made it so good let me put my soy sauce on it the only soy sauce allowed in this household
little bit later in the day. I'm getting ready to put away my fragrances from the video I filmed earlier. And so I figured I would share my fragrance tray with you all because I did one this week. I hadn't done one in a while. So I'm going to flip you around real quick so you can see what I got going on for this week. So here is my fragrance tray for the week. I'm going to try not to be too shaky, but I am holding my phone to film this. Um, anyway... When I do these fragrance trays, I'm not limited to just a tray. I just pull out some fragrances that I want to try to wear at some point this week. Um, but I also can use any fragrance out of my collection. So anyway, um, this first fragrance back here is Arabian's Tonka. This is on the tray because I have only worn this one time, I think. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, so yeah, that's why it's on the tray. <laughs> Next one on the tray is... La Vie, or it's by Trussardi, and this is called Limitless Shopping. This is a honey floral, and I do really like this scent. I haven't worn it in probably over a month, and so I wanted to go ahead and wear this at some point. Next up is Jardin de Misfa. This is a date scent that I really like. Um, you can see I've used it quite a bit, but I've been thinking about wearing it again, so I put it on the tray because I'll probably wear it at some point this week. Next up is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Love this fragrance for summer. It's almost empty. So in a way, I kind of want to use this up so I can get the refill. So that's why I went ahead and put it on the tray this week. Next up is Rose Dear Malfi by Tom Ford. I picked this up when I picked up a whole bunch of other fragrances. So I haven't really worn this much. I think I've only worn it one time. So I really want to get to know this. That's why it's on the tray. I'm probably going to wear this one to bed tonight. Next up is Cream Chiffon by House of Siage. Uh, again, this is one that I love and I uh, haven't worn it in a little bit. So I put it on my tray for this week. This next one, you're getting a sneak peek. <laughs> this is House of Oud Bon Bon Pop. And I'm actually testing this fragrance out this week. It's a new fragrance to me, so that's why it's on the tray. Next up is Hibiscus Mahaja. I've been hearing all the girls talk about this recently, and I hadn't worn this since it was cold. So I actually put it on the tray, and I've already worn it one time this week, and I really enjoyed it in this hot weather. So I'm glad I pulled this one out because I don't feel like I really gave this one a fair shot when I got it. <laughs> and then this last one on the tray is Lovers by Fragrance Dubois. This was sent to me from Karina Waldron here on YouTube just because she's super sweet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's on the tray because I am going to be talking more about this, so I'm still kind of testing this out. So yeah, that's my fragrance tray for this week. So I always do like a mix of like things I haven't worn or even if I wear them quite regularly, just things that I thought about. So I don't do my trays all the time, just when I feel like it and sometimes these help me to weed out fragrances that I don't want anymore <laughs> or you know just just help me get to know them like for instance this one like if I wear this one this week and I don't really like it I'm probably gonna end up decluttering it so we'll see anyway this is my tray for this week for the rest of the day, I am just going to be cleaning up. I'm actually getting ready to put away some clothes right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. I know I didn't do much in this vlog, but such is life. I hope you all found it enjoyable anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.